Ooh. No video yesterday, so sorry about that. Um, I, I don't think it's imperative that I have a um, contiguous, I guess is the word, contiguous sequence of numbers that, um, that you can um, do some mathematical analysis on or something. Um, um, I do try to, I, I, I think I was at one point thinking to do placeholder videos. You know, if I didn't have anything to say, I would just turn the, turn the camera on wherever I'm at and say something. But, uh, this is what's one of those I'm, I'm, um, this is, uh, this is one of those videos where I, uh, I don't really, um, have much to say. I said a lot in the last two. Um, I'm getting ready for a job interview this week, a couple, and, um, uh, you know, I can still sit at, sit at a desk, I can still get to work, walk, drive, but uh, it's not very comfortable at all, and uh, looking back at the last four years, I'm glad I, I took jobs when I could. Um, very difficult. Uh, to um, to sit at a desk when uh, the toxicity is uh, is continuing to spread. So um, what I said what I said yesterday um, in in the video yesterday or the day before yesterday was um, was about Dr. Suporn being the only one that uh, knows what happened besides uh, me. You know. Um, he doesn't know what I'm going through, but I mean, he, well, he has to know something, but he doesn't know uh, exactly what uh, my symptoms are or exactly what it feels like because maybe he hasn't done this before to someone else. Uh, maybe the, the other person's, uh, if he has done this before, they haven't survived. Um, like I said, I almost died in, in, in Thailand. Um, it was like a torture camp. I've never... Um, been to a torture camp before, so I don't know what to compare it to, but I've, I've, you know, read stories, uh, John McCain, uh, other, um, Vietnam veterans, Korean War veterans, maybe, Vietnam, one of those, um, uh, and then there's the, uh, there's the guy that, uh, escaped from a, uh, Thai prison, David McMillan, um, you know, his story about, uh, torture and, and living in a Thai prison, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this. I, I just wanted to say that uh, Dr. Suporn may, may be the only person that can help me. Um, would I want him to, uh, would I trust myself in his care again? I, um, I don't know. I, 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 I don't think I could go there now um, to uh, to let him touch me with a knife to remove my groin because I don't know uh, I don't have any publicity for uh, for my uh, story and I need publicity to ensure my safety that uh, if I were to step into Thailand and they were to um, arrest me and stick me in some prison somewhere unable to speak un unable to communicate with the outside world uh, then, then no one would be following up with my story I don't think um, so, um, only if I got publicity, got a big movement around me, would I even consider going back to Thailand. Uh, but saying that, um, right now, I, I think that, uh, Dr. Suporn is alive. He is definitely, he has to be aware of what I'm saying. He has, to, he created the situation and, uh, he has to be asking himself, um, how long am I going to let this person suffer? How, how, what, what is the, uh, what is the goal here? Why, um, why does this person have to uh, die if, if that's uh, the case? Um, how, and and for those that know about Thai culture, I'm asking you, what, what did I do uh, to deserve this? And and please explain what, what Thai culture is and and what uh, disrespecting. Uh, a doctor's uh, clientele is is it as is it as bad as disrespecting his family? I I have to believe somewhere somewhere inside I have to believe that that uh, that, that is uh, the case. 
So, um, but I don't know that, that much about Thai culture. Um, so I'm going to leave you with that. And uh, we'll talk again tomorrow. I'm low on battery, so I can't make a big video. And um, I'll have to charge them tonight. Uh, wish me luck on my job interview. And um, thanks for watching. And thanks for telling someone about my story. Please tell everyone you know about my story. Call Oprah Winfrey if you want to. Jerry Springer. Uh, TJ Holmes from CNN. Who uh, is just a name I picked out of the hat. He has, I have no idea why he might be interested in my story. But he seems like an honest person. Um, just anybody who wants to uh, tell my story. And I, I will appear in front of any TV camera. Uh, any any, uh, any uh, show host to uh, discuss uh, my story. Okay, I'm Stephanie Grow. I, um, I am responsible for the views on the Jahi McMath uh, tragedy, uh, especially my views on Children's Hospital of Oakland. If they, um, if they see my comments as libelous, they're, they're just my thoughts, and um, they, they're welcome to come and sue me. I don't have anything uh, to sue for. I, I, I'm definitely not going to shut up because someone's threat, threatening me with, uh, with libel. I'm not going to shut up about my views about this Jahi McMath case. So um, I'm not going to hide any part of my life. I mean, that's, that's where I spend some of my time is, is uh, the Jahi McMath. Jahi McMath, uh, brain-dead brain case. Uh, she went in for tonsillectomy surgery and came out three days later brain-dead. So uh, if you're not familiar with that, then uh, then you need to, um, to go on Facebook and search for that. So that's all I'm going to say. Uh, thanks for watching. Be good, and um, God bless.